Welcome back to the sorcery playthrough of Elden Ring, everyone. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's very telling, I think, that even with my super OP Terra Magica uh, Comet Azure setup, I cannot even get close to killing this thing. This is the death ride bird on the mountaintop. This thing is, I don't know who came up with this, who designed this shit, but this this is one of the most ridiculous bosses I've ever faced in a Souls game. Uh, it has mega insane HP, the camera has zero clue what to do, and again, like, you can't, I can't even hit him. Half my spells don't even get close to hitting him. This, like, look, I'll show you, even if I tried with Rock Sling, That was probably a bit too far, bad example, but... I mean, it's incredibly fast. It has stunning AoEs. So you're inside the AoE, you're constantly getting interrupted from your actions, so it's very difficult to actually get out of it. It frostbites you. It does ridiculous HP damage. It has crazy HP itself. Yeah, this is one of the most ridiculous bosses I've ever seen in these games. And I, again, I know Millennia exists, but... I don't know, this one feels like... Death, I don't know. The name is very appropriate. I mean, look, I can't even heal it so fucking quick. Anyways, I'm gonna give this an honest attempt, but what the fuck, man. I've basically used all my resources and as you can see it still has over 50% of its HP. See like that AoE. Is that his big transformation? And I know, I know the tactic for this boss, everybody says, basically, is don't lock on. I mean, like, uh, what is this? What is this boss? I, I don't understand it. I, I do not understand this boss. Like, what the point of this is, making him this difficult. Anyways. That's besides the point. I'm not really looking forward, not looking, not looking forward to. I'm not really looking to fight this thing right about now. I want to make progress. The death right bird can get fucked for all I care. I'm sure there is some cheese tactic for him. Uh, somebody I think mentioned that you can get him to drop off of the cliff. But you know, I think it's a mark of a not necessarily a good boss fight is people immediately look for how to cheese it very fire giant esque oh, this thing has a lot of hp too was i out of stamina i must have been i mean the thing about this entire area is you don't even have to fight a single thing uh, I mean, I guess that's true for all of the areas, but here especially, I don't know, it just feels like one of those areas where it's better to just run past everything. But I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. I'm just trying to like, in my head, calculate how much HP this thing might possibly have if that was almost 3000 points of damage this has to have like 12k or something
something akin to that. And you get 3,700 in return. Meaning this is not worth it. Firmly in the category of not worth it. Anyways, we can move towards that blood church. And it's not a blood church, it's just where the rivers of blood guy attacks you. And I sort of just associate... I think it might actually be called the Blood Church, right? Or am I just stoned? Not a hundred percent on that. Hello, bird. That's 1400. I'm doing some mental calculation on some of these enemies. That is nutty. Oh, come on. That was nowhere near in range. I know this is a bit pathetic having to heal after every single... This thing better not fucking kill me. Thank you. They gave you a hell of flasks back too. <laughs> they know what it is like. Warming st Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's see if it's easier off horse. Technically, it should be. You're not really meant to fight a lot on horse in this game. Ouch. Issues you can't actually get far enough to heal properly. And didn't do an attack for some reason. Why am I fighting these things, by the way? Somebody answer me. There is like no discernible reason to do this. They're having a party there. That's where we need to go. And if I remember correctly, there is no checkpoint slash stake of America here. Uh, so... That was way too slow. Okay, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I did a miscalculation there, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the thing is, the Terra Magica shtick might work. Because that applies anyways. I mean... To deal insane damage. Fuck, you like spamming that. Come on! Nah, they're, they're very good at dodging that. The NPC enemies. They're not always the smartest though, so... You know. Fuck. I have stamina now, bitch. Not stamina, magic. L I mean... <laughs> peak souls combat right here, people. Uh, <laughs> yes. You might not like it, but this is optimal souls combat. Eat shit, bloody finger, Okana. And you, of course, get the infamous Rivers of Blood. Recently nerfed Rivers of Blood, I should say. Because uh, that's what happened to it recently. Probably the most, like, eventful change in Elden Ring patch history. 
Aside from them changing Radon for the 50th time. Uh, yeah, cool. I think there's a Melina dialogue here. Ooh. I thought I had golden seeds for a little bit, but no, there's no Melina dialogue here. Uh, actually... I'm just thinking... Isn't there an ancient... Sombersmithing stone here somewhere? There was something with this giant. There is ancient dragons, but this is not the ancient dragon somber smithing stone, right? I get confused in which one is which. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, that's this is not it. That's the somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Different thing. Fair enough. Their ridiculous thing is there's one of those like giant finger enemies, but like a giant giant one here. Uh, that's really difficult to fight because it has the same movement speed and moveset as the smaller ones. And it can get a little bit insane trying to fight it. Hence why I'm not gonna fight it. Is this... Are there multiple entrances to the fire giant fight? Oh, this is the fire giant fight. Oh, and there's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna try fire giant. I mean, listen. We've come this far. No reason to turn back. I think this setup... Will it work for fire giant? I have no idea. It has a lot of HP and... It's sort of a weird boss in that it works differently to the other ones. Because of the, his like whole weak spot shtick. Yeah, there are multiple in entrances to here. Huh. That totally never registered with me. Let's try this though. Fuego Gigante. All right, <laughs> let's see if I can set this up. Wrong spell. You're immediately using the wrong spell. I mean, sort of works. What am I doing? <laughs> hey, it sort of doesn't work. <laughs> He has a lot of HP. I mean... Listen. The idea is neat, isn't it? Whoa, okay. I forgot that explodes like that. Uh-oh. I frames. That's how real combat works. Shit. I'm dead. Come on. This might not work too well. This particular setup might not be good for this boss fight. I'm just having a slight suspicion here, so let's instead try something else. Let's go back to our standard setup. All right. This is the setup classic. We have the setup boss blaster and the setup classic. Shit, is the boss blaster not even going to be useful for anything? I mean, it, it shows up so much in YouTube videos, but that might just be just flashy YouTube shit. Uh, not that it matters because this build is insanely powerful anyways, but... Well, I don't know. I feel like for things like Malekith and all that, it might be a little bit better.
The shame is that you have to lock onto his stupid feet uh, and... And I might need more uh, crimson, not crimson, cerulean flats for this. Oh, okay. Just got bitch slapped by the plate. Wonder how well this does. Oh, okay. We have the solution. I'm gonna get... Okay. I thought I was gonna get stomped. God, this thing is like... <laughs> Camera, please cooperate with me. How is he not in second phase yet? Shouldn't he... There we go. Uh, but we have the solution. I mean, it's it's carry and slicer for phase one at least. Phase two, when you have to hit his hands, we might be better off with an actual spell. I'm not sure. This guy's boss fight is fucking crazy though. The lore is super interesting though, because these fire giants are like possessed by essentially like an evil god. That's the thing in the center. So this dude is kind of fucked either way. I mean, he probably isn't ripping his leg off because he likes it. It's because he's possessed by some crazy shit. Need the conjuring here to... ...exercise him. All right, let's see what happens. Am I hitting his weak spot? Did that count? Uh-oh. I am not sure that counted. I'll be fucked if you can't lock onto that. I mean... He's blasting, that's for sure. I was just about to say, being on the horse is not the best idea. Damn. Because I don't think I'm actually hitting the weak spot. He should be taking more damage. At least comparable damage to phase 1. Which... Sucks, kind of, if I can't. Let me just use a rune. Thingy. Get some more HP. Although, this thing does so much damage that... I don't know if it matters anyways. But still, we got phase 1 on lockdown. I think. And I should have... I should have got one more cerulean flask. Still, maybe with the physic flask, get that infinite HP. Not HP, MP. Whoa. Even with this, I'm not always hitting the weak spot. Which sucks. Whoa! Okay. Have it like that. Shit. Come on. 
That's the issue, that I'm not always hitting the weak spot with carry and slicer. And that sucks, because he's difficult like that if you're not hitting the weak spot. Maybe we should just go for melee and try that. But before anything else... Uh, we need probably 4-8? Is that enough? It's as good as it's gonna get. I just have so little HP and I'm at 42. So this is not terrible, but for this game, I just have so little HP. I mean, the thing about this fire giant, I got him on, I think my third try on playthrough one. And it feels like this ain't gonna be a three try fight. Oh, fuck. Really bad start. I'm just dealing no damage to him. Maybe ranged? Oh, come on. That's the thing though, if I stay at range, that happens. fun when he hits you once and that does like all of your HP zero clue what hit me there absolutely zero clue gonna be one of those it's gonna be one of those still really interesting that there are two entrances to this boss fight that doesn't really happen like ever how did I dodge this before He's gonna roll. Heal Torrent. He's in a really bad spot there. I want this guy to be, well, anywhere but there, because this thing and uneven ground are best friends. Uh, negatively towards you. <laughs> to be fair, I did deserve that. So I eat like what the hell was that? It just feels like I'm not doing enough damage to him. Like, he should be... He was more dead on my first attempt. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> well... This is gonna be my life for like the next day and a half, I can already tell. This is, this is one of those roadblocks, isn't it? I can already picture it. I'm gonna start editing. Well, this has already been the entire 
half an hour episode but I'm gonna try this a little bit more and just cut out any attempts maybe you'll just see the end of this as in I failed but who knows Cool. Maybe I need to use this thing. Off of the um. <sighs> there we go. That's what I've been trying to do for a while now. Maybe with Torrent, I can hit him a lot better. With Carry and Slicer, I mean. Maybe that's the strat. I mean, that is the strat. I just had a quick look on tips for Fire Giants with a Sorcerer. I mean, it's a little bit telling that half of the... Half of the threads where people are like... Any strats for Fire Giant as this build and that build, half of them start with, well, you should just get Mimic tier to plus 10 and then... Fuck. What the hell is even hitting me? This thing is... <sighs> it's a fight with the camera. So maybe from Torrent and carry and slicer, that's a little bit easier. Cause I can actually hit the weak spot. Still not easy. As soon as as soon as he rolls like the motherfucker he is. That's when stuff starts falling apart a little bit here. I'm still not hitting him. Oh my fucking god. I don't even care. I'm just hitting him with the sword. Somehow, none of the actual flames came this way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, if there ever was a boss fight where the arena should have been just flat with no obstacles, it should have been this one. I, I can't do it. I can't do it today. I think I'm going to have to take a breather on this. It's just such a fight with the camera and then just like out of nowhere he drops the plate on you and insta-kills you. Uh, so it's a bit, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. It's very telling that I looked up strategies on how to beat him as a sorcerer. People are mostly suggesting carry and slicer, but it's a little bit worrying for any Elden Ring boss and build when like half of the replies on all the threads are like, well, just get Mimic tier to plus 10 and whenever shit starts like that, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a tough one. And this is going to be a tough one, so I'll manage this somehow, uh, but I'm going to be here a while. Yeah, this has been Fire Giant and the Elden Ring Sorcerer playthrough. I'll catch all of you guys next time. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, take care and peace out.